Hello, my survivors and members of the Horde, and welcome back to Starbound. Yeah, I know, it's been a while since I played some Starbound. Honestly, there's a, a lot of reasons for that. Um, prim is this my home? Okay. Um, primarily, I was sick for a while, and then holidays kicked in. And then after the holidays kicked in, there was like a, a wipe coming, a world wipe and ship wipe. So I didn't want to play if ever, all that was going to be wiped away. So I waited, and I'm told that that, already, that it happened. And it seems like that that's the case, because I am now on a world that I have no home in, and have started fresh. So, um, well not necessarily fresh, I still have all my items, but fresh as in, I don't have um, my old my old home, my old building. So, we're back to kind of square-ish, one-ish, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Greatly, greatly fine with that. And uh, that's what we're going to be picking up, so that's, that's cool with me. Okay. And automatically, fucking everything is hostile as hell. Okay, can we not just be... The most evil monsters in existence. Uh, but it's good to be back to Starbound. I'm really happy to be starting to play it again. It's been a, a couple weeks and I, I, I miss it. I think it's been a couple weeks. No more than a couple weeks at the very least. Um, and I miss it. I was having a ton of fun with this game. I really like this game. I'm just happy to be back in the saddle, I guess, in a, in a manner of speaking. Um, I don't know what has been added. I'm sure a lot has been added. Uh, seeds, oh right. We can grow trees now, which is actually kind of cool. Um, so that's always good to have. And uh, I just think some general bug fixes and, and small things have been added to the game. So we're going to go ahead and clear out this area and start building a home. Immediately get someplace safe that we can kind of go back to on this planet. And then kind of explore the planet. See what... Oh my god, everything's evil. <coughs> There's nothing nice here. Magnus von Uberstein luckily has killed a bandit camp and has uh, the clothing to prove it and is not afraid of mere monsters. Uh, but either way. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, and just kind of clear out some areas and uh, make a place home, explore the planet, and be back. Like I said, Magnus von Uberstein is happy to be back, and so am I. I love this game greatly. Um, whoa. Hello, sir? Sir? You look like evil, an evil bandit. Oh, there's two of you. Alright, well that's uh, good to know. Luckily you don't have any ranged weapons, and you have some badass gear. Are you both avians? One of you is an avian at the very least. I just want to knock you guys back. I mean, the knockback ability is a little bit overpowered, I feel, still. The fact that I can just kind of keep these guys at distance. Uh, that guy's got a gun. But there is a chest over there. Hmm. I will, uh, play this smartly. Yes! Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. I know. I hope you enjoy your new home. Oh, poison water. That sucks. Uh, let's try and get rid of it, I guess. We're gonna dig down this way. And, oh, god damn it, an animal. We're just gonna try and empty out as much as we can. I just wanna get to that chest. Oh, man, getting creative here. Ooh, rain. I heard that there's new weather added to the game, which is awesome if that's actually true. And, ooh, there's actually like rain effects going on. Is that new? That is awesome. Oh god, it can flood. That's actually really friggin' cool. I like that a lot. Oh, I'm so happy to be playing this game again. Oh, I missed it. The magic and wonder of this game that it brings just be is is just awesome. I really love it. Alright, that's gonna be good enough for me to get in there. That guy could just live in his hut, like he's permanently imprisoned, as far as I'm concerned. His friends tried to kill me. I'm a, I'm a, I mean I consider myself a mostly nice fellow. What is that? Piercing blade. Can we just like take everything here? Yeah, let's take this and let's get out of here. Um, let's just teleport up and let's take a look at this blade here for a second while we're while we're on the ship. Um, we'll even put down a chest and use it to store some stuff. Boom. Uh, let's store our ukulele. What the hell is this? Holiday spirit. The essence of the holiday season in its purest form. I'm gonna hang on to that. Toto. What the hell is that? It's a sapling. Okay, so tree. Alright, this is a piercing eye sword. It's two-handed. Does 10 damage. Is 1.36. This is 1.1. Yeah, this is gonna be in there. Definitely wanna carry that around. A red dye. That's kinda cool. We'll hang on to that. Uh, this little bandit thing. We have a crown now, which I don't know what that sun thing is. But it prevent it prevents... It's actually kind of... It's actually worse than what we have here. It's like a Wonder Woman crown. We'll keep that in here. 
We can use dirt, so we're going to hang on to it. We can get rid of it and dump it if we need to. Everything else I'm going to hang on to. Alright, so we have a new sword. Oh, with farts. That's cute. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, let's head back down. Warp to planet. We're definitely hurt, so we're going to want to set up home base pretty quickly. Um, what is that noise? Is that like thunder? Awesome. Oh, I love thunder. Okay, that's a terrifying looking monster. Are you evil? There's two of you. You don't seem to be evil. So I accept that you're friendly. Excellent. Um, there is a bird. Just kind of making his way over. Alright, what we're going to go ahead and do is start flattening the area. That's what I want to do anyway. Come on, let's just start breaking this all down. Good, good. Breaking it down, breaking it down. Just want to flatten it out. Have a nice area to build on. Nice big area to call home. We can have a nice basement and everything. Again, having a nice home is going to be good. Come on. There we go. Good, good. Um, we have dirt, so we're going to go ahead and pop open and use some of it. Um, what? Oh, they're fighting, they're fighting the thing down there. Actually, you know what? Let's get you guys the fuck out of here. Ooh, they're running? Oh, they run? Oh, that's new. I thought all animals were aggressive. Oh, I love it. Small little patches. Just changing the way the game works. It's fine with me. Uh, alright, let's do that. There we go. Nice little home. We can even have, uh, stairs here. But we can even, we can build stairs. Alright. Number three, let's get a nice little house. Start, uh, start it up. Where do we want the house? Let's start over here. Let's build it up here. Go up. Oh, God damn it. To here. We'll build out this way. Nice little shack for now. Nice long shack. And then all the way down. Alright. Um, we no longer have our crafting table, so we actually need to make another crafting table, which is totally fine. Let's go ahead and pop that open and crafting a wooden crafting table. We need. Wait, what? Oh, we can, oh, we can build it for, oh no, it costs 200. Alright, whatever. Toy maker's table. That's awesome. Alright, we need, I am sorry, 35 wooden planks. So let's create some planks. Plank. Planks. Boom. Um, we'll do times 15. Whoop. No, times 15. Yes. We created 45 wooden planks, so that's going to be enough for a crafting table. Go ahead and create that. Drop that down. Cooked alien meat. Uh, okay. I accept my reward. I accept my reward. I accept my reward. So we need a furnace next, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and put this here. And we'll put this down. Right here for now. Oh, this is going to bother me, actually. Let's get rid of this. Just going to knock that out. I don't... We might have enough for a furnace. Let's check. Furnace... No, we have to come over. I'm assuming we need to be near this. Furnace. We need a campfire. We can definitely do that. Campfire. Craft. Furnace. Craft. Yeah, I accept. Yeah, alright, alright. Now that wants me to craft that boss, the summoner. But for now, we're not going to worry about that. It's going to go ahead and put that down there. Um, we have ourselves, we need more wooden planks. I'd like to get, a uh, collect actually a bunch of wood now. So we're gonna go, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna crack out here, this little door. We need a door area. I think this might be big enough. Door. Uh, we need more planks. So we're just gonna turn everything we can into planks. Because we're gonna need them. And then we can go ahead and do door door. We need two of them. And we'll go ahead and pop it over. I keep hitting tab to hit my inventory and not I. I feel like tab would be so much better. I might have to rebind that. I crafted two doors. <laughs> Where'd they go? Are they in my inventory already? They're already in my inventory. Noted. All right, I gotta craft. I gotta crack out one more, one more area. Alright, good. Same over here. Okay, good. Boom. Boom. 
And then we'll make ourselves uh, a nice back paneling. Nice wooden back paneling. Alright, not from here apparently, but from here. Now I'm just going to cut out all the rain. Keep ourselves nice and warm if we can. And we're out of wood. That's what I was afraid of, but... We have strange seeds which we actually can plant, but for now... I'm going to come over here. I think some new weather effects have actually been added as well. Not weather effects, but weather styles, or uh, foreign weather, or whatever you want to call it. I think we can get different kinds of weather on different planets, which is something I was really wanting in the game. And I'm hoping that we actually end up getting that. Yeah, well, I know, you're just an angry, an angry monster. Okay, yep, that's what I figured. Get out. Ooh, that one-shotted him. This thing is a beast. I wonder if I can gas this guy through the wall. That would be awesome. We'll check that in here in a minute. Let's, uh, knock down these trees and collect all this wood. It's gonna fall away from me, which is fine. No. It's gonna just be... Oh! I can kind of glitch it. Come here. Yep, I can just kill you. Yep. Well, that sucks for you, doesn't it? Oh, well. If you wanted to work with me, we might have a different story, but you didn't want to. Your friends had made that clear. We'll just take your basic tent so we can heal up. Let's get out of here. Good enough. Um, let's actually go to our crafting. We can make planks right now. We might as well turn them all into planks. 117, so we're going to get 351 wooden planks, which is bonkers. So let's kill these guys off for some money. Alright, good. Since they're mostly harmless, they don't really fight. Boom, boom. Down, and now we have a nice little home! That's adorable. Everything looks really good. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is make an anvil. Um, let's smelt this in here for now. While we do that, let's uh, see what anvil's going to cost us. Anvil. Oh. Anvil. We need eight iron. Alright, that's not a problem. We can go ahead and grab that. So that's going to be our next goal, is iron. We'll smelt the silver when we have the opportunity to. And let's go out, and luckily we have a nice little area to go down right here. Wow, these little passive creatures are actually harder to kill than the aggressive ones. They don't go down in one shot. So, uh, alright. Move on down here. Do I have flashlights? I need flashlights. Uh, not flashlights. Torch. I need unrefined wood. Well, that isn't gonna happen. Ooh, is that poisonous water down there? Ooh, all this wa The water's poisonous in this world. Oh god, I think I'm gonna die. Uh, can I just cure myself immediately by going up here? If I die up here, so be it. And... I'm alive. Well. Alright, that was anticlimactic. Can I make this my home planet? I'm curious how I make this my home planet, actually. Let's go ahead and go down. Alpha Omega CMA15. Dangerous little world. Oop, actually, tree. Let's chop this down. This little desert land over here. Kind of cool that the beginning world actually has two biomes on it. I don't have an iron hunting bow, right? That's like my next big build, I think, is an iron hunting bow. It's a basic gear. These guys are all evil, that much I'm aware. I'm just going to kind of ignore them. <coughs> Alright, let's, uh... How are we going to do this? The water is all poisonous on this planet, it seems. But I do want to explore, so we're going to have to try and drain it out. See what we come across. Um, let's craft... Torch. It's going to be times two, so if we make ten... Uh, oh, we can only make... Oh, we only have one coal. That's pretty bad. But, it's going to be better than nothing, so... I guess we go ahead and do it. Drop it here and start making our way down. I hope we come across coal really quickly. Up, oh. Alright, it's that water, actually. That was a little bit of poisonous water there. So it's a mix of uh, non-poisonous and poisonous water. That's interesting. I didn't know that could happen. Oh, man. Let's just crack out a huge area down there. Let's get rid of as much as we possibly can. 
Um, be really, really careful. We can probably come down here. Oh, battle music. Not quite sure what that's for. Okay, that was weird. Random battle music. Now it's gone. My assumption is that a wild animal is fighting something or getting hurt by the poisonous water, actually. Would be my, my ultimate guess. Alright. Come down, down this. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gonna die here. I'm dead. There's no way I'm gonna live. Come on, baby. Die on the ship. Can I not die from poison right now? Or does the ship automatically kill, kill, uh, cure me? Huh. Interesting. Well, before we guess if we go down there, we can grab a bunch of coal over here that's apparently right here. That I missed. Silly me. Um, before we do anything else, though, let's kill this guy, because he's going to be pure, pure, unadulterated evil and try and murder me if I don't murder him. All right, let's grab all this. There we go. So we got some more coal, so we can go ahead and craft some more torches. So let's make uh, ten, like I said. Uh, we can only make eight, so let's make five. That'll give us ten. Um, we're going to craft another campfire, because we don't have another one, so we want to make sure we have one to be able to cook food. Where'd it go? Didn't I make it? Did I not make it? Okay. I definitely made it that time. Let's go ahead and replace the, the flashlight with it. I'm curious if this is a planet that we get cold on automatically, or if getting cold on a planet is automatic if we have no light. What in the hell is that thing? Excuse me, sir. Yeah, you're evil. That's what I figured. Um, I'm definitely gonna fight you, though. Because you are creepy looking. That is awesome. That guy was freaking awesome looking. No, I was a, I'm a big fan of the way he looked. Uh, I just wanna wander off into the darkness real quick and see if I start getting cold. I am not getting cold. So maybe this planet, I don't get cold. Or maybe I just don't get as cold as quickly in the darkness. Which is totally okay with me. Let's go back down here. Start mining away. It's gonna kind of give a new area down here. There we go. Now we can do, start doing a little bit of spelunking, looking for some more iron. Luckily, we do have a copper pickaxe, so we're not gonna be stuck with, uh, you know, doing a lot of surface mining because we do have a copper pickaxe. It's gonna allow us to mine much quicker. I do hear, I do hear monsters, which tells me cave is close. Is it raining again? Sounds like it. Oh, there is a cave right here. Whoa. A little more Machop monsters. Um. I'm curious if they're mean or not. We're about to find out. Hello, sirs. Alright, apparently not, so that's really good. Uh, yeah, you're mean. I can see. Oh, god damn it. Ah, uh, that sucks. Is this a newer animation? I can't remember. No, I don't think so. Whoa, put me back on the planet. That's a different. That's a new addition. Weird to put me back on the planet, but put me in my spawn point. Okay, you're evil. I forgot. All right, we need to hide in the house. Is it poison damage that I'm doing? I can't tell if he's poisoned or not. We're getting holiday spirit from them. That's where I'm getting it from. Let's head back down. See what we can manage. So there is an evil bird monster down there that we're going to kill, but this freaking amazing looking sword is going to be awesome. Oh, he died. I wonder if those other monsters did the job for me. In the meanwhile, let's grab this coal. Um, and I'm not going to even bother with the... Uh, with the poison water. We're just going to go this way. And avoid the poison water altogether. I feel like that's a better idea. Alright, did I just get hurt? What just happened? This looks like iron to me. And we're also going to get some... Ooh, some copper. I don't think we're... I think we're too deep at this point. To, um... To actually be able to drain the water out. Which is unfortunate. I can't really jump up there. Ow. 
Actually, what I can do, though, is try... Yep, okay, I'm not deep enough. I'm not, not too deep, actually. So that's good. I'm just gonna go ahead and empty this shit right on out. See you later, alligator. Um, inventory. Boom. Just gonna build these stairs upward. Crack that open. Come on. Eh, up. Whoa! That is like a friggin' one of those Pokemon from Pokemon X and Y. That's what it looks like. I haven't played it, just I'm talking about the cover Pokemon almost. Maybe Pearl. I think Pearl was the last one I played. And I didn't even play it that much. But this is what it looks like. It looks like a rare, like, legendary Pokemon. Which is kind of cool. A little bit scary, but kind of cool. Oh, they're fighting. I hope he's not getting mad at me. No, he's just killing himself in the water. Okay, alright. 35 damage. Jesus H. Christ. Holy crap, Ola. Grab that meat. Oh my god, that was awful. That was so painful. God damn it. Alright, well, fuck that. We're just gonna keep on digging now. Alright. What is that noise? Oh, my stupid cat. She, like, finds the weirdest places to sleep and then just sleeps on them. For instance, we're doing a lot of packing up because we're moving soon, within a couple of weeks. So we have a big box over there that's just packed and closed. And she just likes to sleep on top of it. She just thinks this is the greatest bed ever invented, and she just loves sleeping on it. It's so funny. She's so weird. Cats and boxes in general, man. I wonder what it is. Has there ever been a scientific explanation as to why cats like to sleep on boxes? Or just, like, conjecture? I'm very curious if there's a reason. So bizarre why cats just adore boxes. It's really funny, actually. Okay. Well. Okay. There's some new monster formations here. Okay, you're mean. You're all very evil. God damn it. God damn it. Whoa! Awesome. Does this hurt? That's awesome! It's not painful in any way. But it looks badass, which is really cool. I am a huge fan of that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think it's got like a machine gun. Ow! Fuck this world, man. Holy crap. Alright. Well, you know what? I'll go down and get those chests next episode. We're going to stop this episode here. Oh, it feels good to be playing Starbound again. I love it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the, the playthrough, continue to support it by hitting that like and comment down below. Let me know. I'm, I'm, uh, let me know what you think or what I should be doing next. I I'm just curious if you guys uh, have any like foresight or direction that you guys have kind of found most useful when playing Starbound. And as always, if you didn't have to hit that subscribe button, make sure you do to join uh, the survivors or become a member of the Horde. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.